I, you know, was crying and I really was very, very anxious. Desperate and distraught, the faithful enter this humble house in Canton, Ohio. I was dying. I really felt that I was dying. Inside this tiny room, they pray. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Prayers, they say, are often answered against the odds and in spite of a dire diagnosis. The doctor said, well, we've either found a cure or she's had a miracle, but they have not found a cure because it's still not curable. The miraculous claims began here in 1939. This house was a three-room depression shack. An ordinary woman named Rhoda Wise and her husband George were raising their adopted daughter. And um, very poor, there wasn't even electricity or plumbing. When Rhoda suffered complications from the removal of a 39-pound tumor and doctors sent her home to die. She said she prayed a lot because that was all she could do. She prayed the rosary and to St. Teresa, known as the little flower for promising to send down a shower of roses from heaven. The end of May is when Jesus came for the first time and sat in the chair by her bed. She asked him, have you come for me? Because that's what she was expecting. And he said, no, your time hasn't come yet. But a month later, Rhoda claimed Jesus returned, this time with St. Teresa. And she was the one who went over to Rhoda and put her hand on Rhoda's abdomen. And her abdomen was completely cured. The next visit, Rhoda said a cast split open, instantly healing her damaged foot. Never had any trouble walking again. A local Monsignor began documenting the events. These pictures were captured outside of the house as crowds gathered, hoping to see Jesus. And were they surprised when they actually saw a light pour out of the window? Witnesses said the most brilliant light they'd ever seen something that couldn't have been um, produced at that time, that there was nothing as bright as that light was. Some rose petals inside of the home were left with this mysterious image, says Karen Sigler, director of the Rhoda Wise home. And that was just a precursor to what would happen next. She would bleed from three hours, from noon until three in the afternoon, um, the same hours Jesus was on the cross. Rhoda developed stigmata, what many Christians believe is spontaneous bleeding on the body corresponding with Jesus' crucifixion wounds. Profusely from those wounds. And um, they would wrap her head, you know, with claws and to catch the blood. The stigmata lasted over two years, but the heavenly visits were reported until just before Rhoda's death in 1948. During one of the visits, Rhoda said Jesus blessed several jugs of water and told her to give it to the sick. So she did and many of them were healed, cures which continue to this day. It was pure love. Andrea Kissel Conti vividly remembers coming here when she was just five years old with an incurable kidney disease. My kidneys were dying. But inside Rhoda's room, something happened. I had a vision of St. Teresa. She was alive and, and reaching out to me. And she was saying to me, in a little while, tell them you're gonna get better. In a little while, tell them you're gonna get better. And she was smiling, and, and the whole time there were rose petals falling. Soon, Andrea says she was better, free from the harsh medications and daily protein checks. I have never had to go to the doctor for any uh, kidney problem with that disease at all, ever. Another little girl no longer needed these leg braces, and a young boy from Panama also got better. The last seizure he had, they blessed him with the holy water, and he stopped seizing, and he's been fine ever since. But Karen says not everyone experiences a healing. Some prayers aren't answered, while others are without even asking. I didn't come here for a cure. Bobby McKnight just wanted to make peace with her situation, sick and suffering from unexplained, debilitating double vision. When I opened my eyes, there was one crucifix not two. I was very confused by the whole thing. So was her doctor. And he goes, hmm. And then he measured him again. He goes, hmm. He goes, you can see. And I said, yeah, I can. He goes, what happened? And he sat back in his chair and I told him. And he said, uh, yeah, I believe in miracles. And soon others might too. 75 years since it started, the Diocese of Youngstown is conducting an informal preliminary investigation of Rhoda Wise. Which is the beginning of the long road 
toward canonization. Incredible to consider, says Karen, that this gentle woman who lived in this simple home might become one of only a handful American-born saints. People used to ask her that a lot. You know, why did our Lord pick you? And because of her courage and faith and um, perseverance, she was chosen for a great work. In Canton, Suzanne Stratford, Fox 8 News.